What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back more diecast, and today we're gonna to be doing a retro unboxing of the 1990 Majorette Minivan 5-pack. Yes, this is a 5-pack of all vans. How cool is that? So I picked this up at a toy show last year for a whopping $5, which I thought was a really good price. Usually these sell for a little bit more, probably around 10 to 20 on eBay, but the cool thing is the original Ames price tag from the store in 1990 is on there, $3.99. So with inflation, that would probably be around around seven to ten dollars is my guess which was a little bit more expensive than comparable hot wheels or matchbox five packs of the period but majorette has always been a step above both those brands in my opinion and they call out why they have been a step above that here on the box they usually have an opening hood back hatch sliding door side doors and they have that beautiful majorette suspension so if you've ever played with an older majorette or a newer majorette car um you know that they like bounce and kind of have a suspension and that's really really fun to play with majorettes were some of my favorite cars as a kid to like actually roll around because you could like slide them they had that like mushy suspension they were just so fun to play with because i remember i had a couple of the, like the lights and sounds uh caprice police cars and they were just a blast to play with. So I'm really excited to open these um, because these aren't castings I had as a kid. And I love that Pontiac Transport. That's gonna be so cool. That like vacuum cleaner, the dust buster van, that's gonna be awesome. Um, so we'll take a look at the package before we get into it. It's got that nice minivan art, which is weird because that's definitely a Dodge Caravan or a Plymouth Voyager of the period, but it has a Ford style front end. So you can kind of see that they edited the graphic. I don't know why exactly, but it's it's a little odd, but I like that they have like minivan and then it's like a tropical setting, like your Miami Vice or uh, with the Magnum PI and the Ferrari or something, but it's cool nonetheless. And then here are the moving parts explanation. I love this suspension, the whoop whoop that they're showing there. And here are the different five packs that they had at the time. They had a four by four, construction, dream cars, champions, and of course the minivan. So the champions, that was a race line with a bunch of race cars. I had the ZR1 and I think I had the Firebird at least. And then I didn't have too many of these like exotic cars. Um, and these, the construction one, I like how they're in French first because this is a France or a French brand. So as you can see here, made in France. So these are kind of fancy. These were fancy back in the day. They have a little bit more detail, just a little bit higher quality. Uh, I think some of them like that's definitely a metal body metal chassis it looks like so it'll be cool to pop these open but i just want to show you a few things one that in what 24 years no 34 years right yeah 34 years this hasn't changed like the five pack style hasn't really changed it's the same size it's the same width basically the same length the only thing different on this one is it has this nice hang tag and i actually like this um i think it gives a little bit more like action to the card it just looks a little more high quality where this these tend to break especially if you pull them off a lot and this is held up very well so it says something about the quality of the packaging and i wanted to show you that majorette if you're not familiar with them they also are being made now and they're sold in the united states i know if you're watching this from outside the united states you're probably familiar with them because they do sell a lot in europe and other countries it's a big brand overseas, but they are selling them here now, which I will do an unboxing and a definition, like a video of like kind of going over the pink slips line and the majorette, the regular majorette line. So here's the beautiful Mercedes 190 Evo. Love this casting. So this is a majorette brand. I think, I don't think they're made in France anymore. Yeah, made in Thailand. So they're not made in France anymore, but they're still a French brand as far as I know. Um, but this is really cool. They have, what's odd about it is they don't really sell too well on this card, but then they introduced the pink slips lines, which are the exact same cars made by Majorette, but now they're reboxed in a Jada uh, package. So, I mean, you can see right there, Majorette, it's literally Majorette for Jada. So it's kind of cool or wild to see the comparisons of these two and how fast the pink slips will and these kind of linger at some of our uh, Walmarts where, where, where they are available. So it's kind of weird to see that. But I'm excited to open this vintage one because I don't ever remember getting an actual uh, five pack of Majorettes. I got individual ones, like I said, on the back, um, but never a five pack. So I'm going to try to open this one nicely. So let me see. I don't know. Is that a tab? Looks like that might be a tab right there. I don't know how you, I don't want to break it. I'm, I'm probably not going to keep the packaging, but I don't really want to ruin it um, unless I can't. I can't, like, unless I have to ruin it, basically. Oh, I don't want to do it. 
It's so nice. It's so pretty. Um, I don't know. Let's see if we can do it. Can we do it down here? Kind of, maybe? No, I'll probably break it there, too. Let's see if I can unglue it. Yeah, there we go. So I can glue that back or keep it nice, at least. Maybe. There we go. So much better than the Matchbox 5 packs I usually open. So this has, let's see. Oh, nice. Look at that. Out of the package for the first time ever in 34 years? Man, that's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over and then read to make sure um, I know which ones they are. So, yeah, two Pontiac Transport, the Ford Transit uh, minivan, I guess. Let's see. Okay, so I know this one. We'll just kind of go from over the top. Oh, my gosh, look how squishy this is. So loud. Okay, so here's the first one, the Pontiac Transport. This is so cool. These, well, I guess we can look at both of these at the same time. These are considered what they have like the Dust Buster nickname because they look like the Dust Buster vacuum cleaner from the 80s. But these are pretty cool. You really don't see them around much anymore. They've almost become like classics uh, at this point because they kind of got ran into the ground. GM cars from the 80s and 90s did not have the best quality. They rusted easy. Um, they were early front wheel drive stuff. So a lot of times they didn't last. The transmission went out. Uh, but if they had the, what, 3.4, 3.8 liter in them, the engines would run forever, uh, but usually the transmission or the car would rust out first. So we look at details of these. I mean, they're pretty nice. So it does have a metal chassis, uh, metal body with a plastic, uh, like almost like the real one with a plastic underbody. It does have clear headlights, got a little Pontiac logo, RIP to Pontiac. Oh, I miss Pontiacs. And it's got a nice, um, I, not glass roof, but a plastic roof. And it does have like almost like little scratches or it's fogged a little bit. So it looks like it has like a more of a roof to it because I believe in the real vans that these were colored right here. Like these were painted. I don't think they were all glass as far as I can remember. But overall, they nailed the shape of this. The plastic cladding on the body looks good. It says Transport SE on it. Uh, it has door handles. It even has mirrors molded into the plastic, which a lot of cars don't even have now. So that's really nice. It's not super detailed on the inside, but it's it's cool that you can see it. It does have windshield wipers on the glass. It's got a nice steering wheel sticking out. Uh, what? It's got two front seats, a bench seat of three, and then two back seats. So room for what? Seven altogether? Six altogether? Really nice. It is. It's pretty cool. And I love that they put the actual scale. So the scale is 155th scale rather than 164th. So even though this will fit in with your 164th cars, this is an actual 155th scale video or video car. So let's see. Oh, see that suspension? Do some speeding and like do a J turn with it. So much fun to play with. That actually looks really good in red. I might have to do like a write-up or something on these because these are really nice. Same with the black one. Like, look how good that looks. You need a little turntable, like a, it's like an 80s GM uh, dealership display or something. Those are so cool. Like, look at the suspension travel on that. Boop, boop. So good. Yeah, I like those. Both of those are pretty good. And they roll pretty well. Uh, they roll okay, I won't say pretty well. But a lot of plastic tires, um, they don't roll well across hard surfaces like a, like a table sometimes. Um, you gotta roll them almost across like a, like a couch or something to get the most out of them because they'll have like little plastic, like little things on the tire where, the, where they will hang up. Hot Wheels does it too. A lot of plastic brands, like plastic wheels uh, or tires do that. So, okay, let's check out the next one. It is the... Let's see, Toyota Light Base, I think is what it, does it say it on the bottom? It does, and this is 152nd scale. This is awesome. That is so cool. So it is a left-hand drive. It's not a uh, JDM spec, as far as I know. It does have that like little like smoothed over camper top. It has the tow hitch, and Majorette has nice tow hitches because they actually have a hitch, and then when you put it on, it has this little plastic keeper right here. So when you put something on there, it's not going to pop off when you play. That is such a smart thing to do, and more like companies need to do that with their tow hitches because it is awesome. 
It, I, it's easy to break, yes, because it'll get brittle, but it's so nice to be able to attach a trailer and not have to worry about it. Like when you're playing or rolling it coming off, that is so good. So really nice body lines. Again, metal body, metal chassis. Uh, it's got the same wheels. I think every, yeah, they all have the same wheels in this line. Um, the interior is red. I really like blue over red. It's again, it's just like the transports. It's not super detailed, but it's cool for what it is. I actually like the headlight, like cast in the metal. That looks very realistic. Very nice. Okay. So then the back opens up here. Ooh, look at that. That's nicer than a Matchbox moving parts now. Like that was easier to do than the, uh, was it, was the Land Rover I opened? Or no, the Infinity or Lexus SUV. It didn't even have that smooth of an action. Like they just, they didn't put too much paint around it. It just functions good. It stays up. The hinges are nice and solid there. You can see um, they're hinged on a metal hinge inside there. Closes good. Doesn't really flop too much, a little bit, but overall, this is a very nice, high quality van. Very impressed with this. Looks good, like the body lines, like if you hold it right there, you can't even really tell that it's hinged, that it like opens up. You can see the hinges, but you can't see the body lines. They did it very nicely. Um, I'm very impressed with this one. So it rolls about the same as the other two. Not the best. Yeah, that one kind of has a hang up a little bit on the front tire with some of the plastic, like, I don't know what you call them, like little hangy, like this right here. Like the little shards of plastic, like where they broke it off the, the plastic tree after it was molded. Some of those get hung up and that's what that has. But that's really cool. Man, that looks good though. Sweet. I love the sport. First lap and the little uh, checker flag on it too. So this one says US Van. Scale 165, so this is supposed to be a Ford van from the late 70s or early 80s, but they haven't, I don't know why they didn't brand it, because they obviously, this one is a Ford, what is this one called? The Ford minivan or Ford Transit, this is a 160th scale, so they had Ford licensing, that almost looks like a Peugeot van or something, definitely European so I don't know why they wouldn't have licensed this. Maybe it was one of those things back in the day. It just saved them a little bit of money, so they didn't do it. But overall, the van is cast pretty nicely. Um, it might have a little bit, like I think it, of the real van would have come out a little more and been rounded right there um, if it was a real Ford van, but it's got a nice blue grill insert. They have probably the best cast metal headlights of any brand. Like, look how good these are. I mean, the detail on that is incredible. For 30 some years ago. I mean, it still holds up very well today. Uh, the paint job is a little dated, like the paint style, but if this was for sale today in the Majorette line, I would for sure buy one. Very cool. And I love how it has the single side pipe exhaust. It's kind of odd that it doesn't have a double, but just a single there. It looks good though. Let's see if you can see anything in it. Okay, so it has moving parts in the back and it is doors. Let me see how you open this up here. Oh, that's crazy. Okay, check that out. Do you see that? It was, it's like an unbroken door set. So it has the little plastic, um, like trees parts. Like when you, when they cast it, there's like a bunch of doors on one piece of plastic and then usually you break them off. But look, these didn't get broke apart. And they're still connected by the factory plastic. That's kind of wild. I almost don't want to break them apart because that's crazy that that is still there. But that's the moving part right there. That's super cool. Yeah, I don't want to break them off. I'll just leave it like that. Little guy, little hiccup right there. This one is having a rough day on the plastic. But there, the blue plastic, as you can see, the tow hitch, again, it's got the little keeper on it. So much nicer when you have that tow hitch on there like that. It's got a nice blue interior. It's got those big seats. It's a cool van. That's crazy that those little like spruces for the doors are still on there. That's wild. I mean, they've been on there for 34 years. I don't want to break them off, but that one rolls pretty nicely. Cool. All right, let's open this or uh, look at this last one. This is the Ford Transit. It, on the box, it says Ford Transit Ford Minivan. 160. Lamaze, sport assistance. This is cool because this really does. This is a 
um, British version of a Ford. Like we did not get this version here. We like our Ford vans looked more like this. Even if this was like in the eighties or nineties, we did not like, as far as I know, the United States did not get a van that looks like this. Um, possibly commercially, but I don't, I mean, I don't ever remember seeing one, but there it says transit and it even is in that nineties Ford font. That is super cool. The little Ford logo, but there's nothing on it. No opening part back here. It's got cool graphics. That little Formula One car at the bottom. It's got the checker flag. Again, nothing. This isn't too crazy. You can see they're all pad printed, which I will give them that. They're not like the new stupid printer style tampos. And this one has a sliding door. So let's go ahead and see how well this works. So there you can see the hinge right there. Let's see, pull it out. I don't want to scrape the paint. Mm, it's a little rough. Come on. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Just pull it out. Back. I don't know. It has been in the package for a long time. So I'm going to try to gingerly push it back here without messing up the paint. I don't know if I'll be able to though. Yeah, it's very tight. I don't know if I should go for it or not. Oh, look at that. Le Mans service. Assistance. There it goes. Look at that. It's got a nice roomy interior. I mean, the door, the cut on the door, the actual, like, moving part itself is not bad. Um, I thought the actual how it functioned isn't bad other than the paint, like, getting stuck in the door. And there's no scraping. I wonder if you just had to like pull it open the first time to get like all the residual paint off the like um, slider right there on the inside because now it opens kind of okay. Look at that. That's cool. You don't get a ton of sliding doors um, on die cast stuff, especially ones that are, I mean, that's still pretty nice. It's coming off a little, but it holds in place pretty well. Again, for a design that's over 30 years old, it's held up pretty well. The quality of the paint, like the paint really isn't cracking. Um, none of the plastic is cracking. The wheels are not the best. Like the tires, like look at those. Those are not the greatest. I will say Hot Wheels is much better than that. But I remember my major at having different wheels. They had like um, almost like the eight hole wheels that Matchbox had. That's what I remember them having. I don't remember um, these like six spoke style wheels. So I don't know if these are later or just like, not exclusive, but just to like, they use them on trucks, maybe not cars. This could be it, but it doesn't look bad on this. Not a bad, I mean, this casting is pretty good. I like, I like the sliding door. You don't get a lot of sliding doors, so I'll take that one. I like the Le Mans paint job too. So cool. Well, let me know what you think of these. Now that you've seen all of them, do you have old majorettes or are you going to collect? Oh, now it's getting loose. Um, old majorettes, now that you've seen them or do you collect them in the first place? Like that looks pretty cool with that blue. This Toyota van almost reminds me of an old uh, Tomica or how you say it, Tomica, Tomica. Uh, it reminds me of one of those castings just because the quality of the actual cast is so high. I mean, it's really, really nice. Looks so good. And then these transport vans, it's hard to beat these, the little dust busters. These are super cool too. So let me know what you think of these in the comments. I enjoyed this one. Um, if I find any more of these at toy shows or anywhere that I can pick them up for a reasonable price, I will buy them because these are castings that don't exist in a lot of other places, um, especially these transport vans. I don't know who else even has this casting in 164 scale or if Majora is the only one. Uh, maybe like Maceo or Brago or someone like that had had them at one point, uh, but they could have been knockoff Majorette castings. I don't know, but these are really cool. And I like that I have two of them um, for a little like matching set this is pretty rad. So cool. Well, I appreciate you watching. Let me know what you think of these down in the comments. If you're a fan of old Majorettes or if you collect them, um, I'd love to get your opinion or your thoughts on this brand. Um, and I will be doing an unboxing of the new Majorette and the pink slip soon. I probably have 30 of those at least to unbox at one time and we'll go over each of them in the details and stuff so don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button as always and i will see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>